Hello YouTubers, Andy here from GAATech.com Thought I'd just give you a very quick video into what you get with the new KK2 board We're obviously all familiar with uh, the board with the LCD screen on but they've changed it now because they were finding possibly that the screen was becoming damaged and there's really no need to have a screen on the board itself um, now they've got the the external screen so obviously that's the existing board we're all used to with the um, uh, voltage beeper warning and this is the new one so we're just going to do a very quick opening of the box and then we're going to do some testing later so this is the new KK2 board So the first thing I notice about this is actually feels quite a lot heavier. Um, although I've taken the screen off, there's a nice robust plastic casing around uh, the board, which is very, very good. Uh, direction arrow on the top, obviously telling you which direction your forward-facing legs must point. You've got the eight output connections here for your, your motors, your ESCs. They've actually now got the... Uh, built-in voltage uh, sensor so you've got a, um, a one pin uh, probe where you can take your voltage and put it into your on-screen display so that's just in here you've got your program import headers you've got your IPS header which can be used for reflashing the firmware and then you've got your aid on elevator throttle rudder and aux channels marked on the top so they tell you on on the plastic casing what is what and they even tell you signal plus or minus uh, obviously plus is in the middle so it saves any uh, voltage uh, problems and obviously the, the speaker uh, the sounder for the board buzzing you when it gets to low voltage is actually built in but that actually feels quite heavy but we're We'll come to that bit back a bit later. You obviously get the cable, which is going to connect the flight board to the programmer. Uh, you've got the pins here, and on the little connector, there is a, a little uh, knob mule there, which goes in uh, in the recess at the top, so you can't get the plug in the wrong way around. Um, so I think it's a very good idea that they've now separated the programmer from the board. Um, I need to connect it up to far up, but I'm sure the menus are going to be pretty much the same. But I thought I'd just, uh, and you obviously get a fixing kit, you get some long bolts to fix it up through. But my main concern was it, it, it just felt weighty in the box, so I'm just going to quickly weigh the old one. So the old one, the old one with the sound is 20.7 grams, and the new one in its box is 33 grams in its entirety. Um, but you are going to have to use long bolts, and they give you steel bolts. And these steel bolts, uh, they're steel bolts with nylon uh, nuts and they go another seven and a half grams so all up that's 40.5 where this one if obviously you're not going to use long bolts like that's 20.6 with those long bolts takes it up to 28.1 so there's there's quite a lot a lot of difference um and obviously this screen only has to be plugged into the board when you're programming it. When you're flying, you would detach these two parts and just leave this in your in your, in your copter. I assume the board's pretty much the same. There are some screws under the sticky label that if you wanted to separate the two plastic housings to get into the board, there's feels like there's two, two hidden screws or maybe one hidden screw below the sticky... Uh, label there to get you into the board so I'm going to uh, in a later video fire it up and see what menus we get but the KK2 board as far as I know the programming menus haven't changed so 
this was just a quick introduction into what you get in the box and these are the components that you do, do get in the box so if you're interested in the KK2 um, it's just given it a little bit of crash protection and they've taken the onboard LCD the screen off um, and given you this nice remote little programmer I'm not sure how well that's going to work in daylight but we will see when I uh, hook it up in a later video and uh, see how easy it is to read. Hope you found that of use. Cheers for now.